little beauty spot on this channel so today I wanted to make a video for you guys where I showcase three of my go-to hairstyles that are ideal for people with short to medium length hair I guess like lob length hair so if you've recently chopped off all your hair and suddenly you feel like you're at a bit of a loss on how to style it this video is ideal for you so the idea behind these styles is that they are super quick and super easy and don't require any heat so you know they kind of look like like you put in a lot more effort than in actual fact you did <laughs> so that's the idea let's get into it okay so this first hairstyle is really really cute and really on trend now the only difficult thing is you have to achieve a braid which I know is a bit like oh daunting for some of us but we're gonna have to put in some work at some point <laughs> so what I want to do is take this whole middle section and separate that from the rest of my hair now this is gonna be like a kind of thin tight mohawk braid and I don't want to make this all loose and you know bohemian this is going to be a bit more sleek now I'm going to keep parting this all the way down the back of my head okay so about half an inch from the center of my head I've got my first part here now that's pretty much as straight as I was able to get it and you can see what I've done is I've made it go all the way down to the bottom and now I've got rid of this section of hair now what I'm gonna do is about an inch there so about the same distance from the center of my head I'm going to do a second part so that I have the little mohawk section here separated And now same thing, I'm gonna bring that all the way down to the back of the head. Okie dokie, so I have another part here now, which means I have two piggy tails of hair that I won't be working with. And this middle mohawky section, so see what I mean here? I can flip that, that way there's a part, that way there's a part. This is what I'm going to braid. So I've got that front little square there, and I'm gonna divide that into three. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and braid all the way back. So as I'm going, I'm just picking up the rest of this loose sort of mohawk hair and bringing that into the braid. So it stays tight on my head the whole way towards the back. Okay, so I've got my tight little mohawk braid there. I've just secured it with an elastic down here. And I have a fair few little flyaways and baby hairs there. So what you wanna do next is just go in with a little bit of hairspray and kind of smooth these all down so it looks nice and smooth. And that is the hard part done. Now all I'm gonna do is take these out and put my hair in a pony. So when the sides are all nice and smooth, you wanna kind of look at the back and brush that in towards the plait a little bit so you don't have this really deep looking part. And now I've got my hair in a ponytail. I just want to kind of pull out a few pieces where I think I need more volume. And I'm just gonna pull out these side bits a little bit, just so I have a bit more volume going on here, not just like this massive mohawk thing going on in the middle. I do still want it to look sleek, but I'm just pushing forward there just really gently so that a little bit of the volume comes back into the top of my head there. And then I'm just gonna spritz that down. And voila, that is hairstyle one, done. Now, this is what we've got going on at the back. You can see I've just got a braid, and then the rest of it I'm just keeping super sleek and super straight. Now, you can obviously put a bit of texture in the pony if you want it a bit more messy, but for me, I kind of like the contradiction between you know the straight sleek sides and then a bit of a braid in the middle it reminds me of a bit of a tribal kind of vibe so what I would do is like wear some earrings like this maybe see how they're like kind of tribal inspired so let's just finish this off 
Okay, so there we go. We've got some like little statement earrings in and super easy hairstyle to do. It definitely looks like you put in a lot of effort and honestly, it was just a pretty quick braid. If you're stronger than braiding at me, I'm sure you'll find it even easier. But yeah, that's like a fun little hairstyle that you can do if you have short hair. So hairstyle number two is going to be a bit more of a fun, flirty, feminine vibe. It's going to be um, really nice for like formal events or things like that. So if you've got prom coming up or, you know, Christmas parties, holiday season, things like that that you want to feel a little bit more dressy for, this is a really great hairstyle for that. It's super easy to do, even though it looks like it's like really difficult. It's really quite simple and there's no heat or anything like that involved. Now, depending on how long your hair is, this one might be a good idea to get yourself some extensions so I'm going to use these these are my Luxie sort of clip-in extensions and I love using these for hairstyles as well not just to make my hair longer but if I need any extra you know thickness or extra length for certain hairstyles they can come in really handy alrighty I'll show you guys how it's done so first thing I want to do is clip in my extensions just really low on my head Okay, and now I have the weirdest hairstyle ever, <laughs> but bear with me. Now with this style here, I'm going to grab this section and I'm going to put a little bit of that texturizing powder. You can put, you know, dry shampoo or whatever you have just to give your hair a little bit of grit and oomph. But I need a little bit more volume going on on the top here. I'm not going to brush through it, I'm just going to run my fingers through it to kind of place the hairs where I need them to be. So now what I want to do is basically do a half up half down style, except only get the very top of this piece. So I'm going to take all of that, going all the way to the back, and then just secure that in with an elastic. Just pulling it looser to make sure I have enough volume and body there. And then what you want to do is pull this elastic down a little bit to create some space and then separate it in the middle and flip it through. So once I've got this twist here, I basically want to separate the sides. So I'm going to take this side and this side, and maybe actually a little bit less, and pull these pieces back to create another ponytail immediately below the twist I've just made. And now with this second ponytail, you wanna do exactly the same thing that you did to the first one, and that is flip it into itself. And now at this point here, I've pretty much pulled back everything that I want back. So I'm just gonna go through and pull out a couple of little pieces to frame my face. So now what you've created is two different twists here. And I just want to collect the remainder of this hair, which is basically a ponytail, and do a basic plait. Now this top bit is super tricky for me because obviously all of my short hair is poking out, but that is why I have used the extensions because I'm going to use that to wrap around. So don't freak out. <laughs> And what I'm going to do now is just pull out these end bits so that they're a little bit looser and then twist this plait into a little bun and secure it down with bobby pins. If you have any little pieces sticking out because you have short hair, you can just kind of grab them and tuck them towards the inner part of the bun and just make sure that it looks somewhat neat. And then when you're at the point where you're happy with your bun, just spritz a little bit of hairspray. Now, if you like, you can do things like curling these front pieces here, but I like them just to kind of sit naturally and just naturally frame your face like that. So you can see from the side angle there, I've got a nice bit of volume here. I've got the double twist. I've got that first twist 
and then that second twist going into that beautiful bun. So the only way that I can ever get this much volume in a bun for me is to use those extensions. Obviously if you have longer hair you don't need to do that part of it and it's probably a lot easier for you to hide the little flyaways in your plait. But how gorgeous is this hairstyle? And it's so easy to do. It like it's just unbelievable. No heat, no straighteners or curlers or anything like that. And you can just step out like this. Woo! <laughs> if you've noticed but I have been loving scarves in my hair lately I just think it just adds a lot especially when you've got short hair and you want it to still look like feminine and things like that plus it's super easy if you're having like a bad hair day or you can't really be bothered to do an awful lot just to throw a scarf in there some sunnies and earrings and it looks like you've made so much more effort so here's my little hack with scarves so I'm gonna take the back section of my hair and make a cute little ponytail to begin with For me, the messier the better with this, so I like to pull it out and create a little bit of volume. Then similar to the hairstyle before, once you've got this little ponytail here, I'm just going to twist it into itself. So now I've got this little twist going on at the back here. The idea is to get the scarf in underneath that ponytail. So you can either obviously tie your scarf in like that if you want a big bow at the top, but I'm just going to keep it sleek at the top today and have the bow at the bottom here. So with a scarf, if you've got like a square one, I like to fold them corner to corner and then pretty much just scrunch this bit in to make that the top of the head. So I've decided I want to twist my scarf because I think that looks quite cute. So I'm just going to make this section a little bit smaller, twist my scarf and then tie it up down under the ponytail that you've just created. The next thing I want to do is twist this into my hair again and tuck it into the scarf. So you just tuck it and then you need a couple of bobby pins to secure that. So once you've tucked up all your little hairs into the bun, you've got a little bit of a twist like that. And now I'm going to turn around and pop these bits and just secure them to my bun back there over the top of the scarf. So if you want, you can give that another little twist and just secure it over in here. And the final step is just to secure this and I'm going to put like a little bow at the bottom there. And there we go. So this is just a super quick, cute little way to pop some extra pizzazz into your daily style. So you can see that that's just integrated with my hair. It's like not going to go anywhere. So you can run around, go run errands and have a really fun day outside. And you've got like a cute little twist going on, a bit of volume here. And then just like a nice little knot with a bow at the bottom. <laughs> so I hope you liked today's tutorial. I had a lot of fun creating these different looks. And sometimes I know, especially if you cut your hair like lob link, like my hair, you kind of get into a rut of just doing the same thing day in, day out. Because honestly, like most days I'll just curl my hair and have it out or I'll pop it in a little ponytail and that's kind of it. But lately I've been having so much more fun styling my hair in different ways. And then all day you kind of just have a really fun day because you think your hair looks cute. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like any of the styles and you do try them, let me know. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments down below. If you like this tutorial, please do leave me a thumbs up. That would be very much appreciated. And if you are so inclined, hit that notification button so that I can call you anytime, day or night, to have a little chit chat about our hair. <laughs> anyway guys, I had a lot of fun making today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as well and I will see you in the next one. Bye!